narrative buster. Just a big, huge, bullet from the sky narrative buster. Now. Kind of. Not kind of. How it's so? a one plus one. He didn't, I mean, he didn't sign him to seven years. Not the point. In fact. That we, was part of the narrative, though. But that, which part? The part that he would not uh, sign people to a long-term deal. Right, but people don't want pitchers to sign to a long-term deal. Right. Like, it usually blows up in your face. You want Carlos Rodon? Remember all the get resign Rodon. Yeah. Where, where'd those people go? Disappeared. Yeah. Kevin Gossman is hurt right now. Mm. Um, I would argue that when it comes to pitchers, uh, three years sounds about right to me. Three years. You want more than that? That's going to be a no from me, dog. And, and by the way, the whole market said the same thing. Jordan Montgomery remains available yeah. because he's demanding a long-term deal. And all the teams are like, yeah, not into it. Sorry, just not into it. So the opt-out is wonky because I know, I get it. Everybody, They're all doing the same thing. You know, you could have Michael Conforto, and that means you get him for two years. If he's not what you want him to be, or if he is what you want him to be, you lose him. But there is zero chance that this contract becomes a really bad contract. There's zero chance. So to me, it is relatively risk-free, um, but it absolutely represents narrative busting. Um, and I'm not over yesterday yet, by the way, because there is there's new information. No, and we will share it with you. Okay. And so I I am going to make it a complete separation sensation. Okay. Because there are two different things going on here. The Giants easily had their <laughs> there you go. They had their best baseball off season in the Farhan Zaidi era, and I think that is unarguable. Um, however, they still did something awful yesterday, and it turns out they did something awful the entire offseason and actually did something awful uh, the entire time that she was there speaking her mind, um, as it turns out. And so I'm not over that yet, but I can compartmentalize with the best of them, and uh, the Giants had a hell of a narrative-busting offseason. No one ever wants to come here. Check. The Giants are cheap. Check. They never get the big name. They always fall in second place. Check. What else do you want? What what other what other narratives are now gone because the Giants did Blake Snell, Mac Chapman, Jorge Soler, Jung Hu Lee, and others, Jordan Hicks. That's all in one off season. They did not get Shohei Otani or Yamamoto. And outside of that, I don't think there's a negative thing you could say about their offseason from a baseball perspective. They also did all of it relatively risk-free. And it's exciting. It's exciting that they did these things and they brought in some big names. And finally, you get uh, the pitcher that you have so coveted for about six weeks now. And you get Blake Snell to come in. And your rotation looks to be top five in MLB. And maybe it'll be top three once you get Robbie Ray back. And, yeah, you've got a high price center fielder. You got a third baseman who can hit, and your offseason was amazing. So congrats to Farhan. Now go out there and make the playoffs, Giants. Yeah. Now yeah. you have to go out there and win games. Yeah. But they should. They should be able to, based on the names on the scorecard. They should be all dialed in and, and ready to go. Yeah, you would think. I mean, you know, the, like the sports and expectations. I mean... What's the story? That's How does what we do. It, well, right. And that's, that's why we're sitting on this warrior story no, the way we are. The roster's a playoff roster. Right. And, and then there's the separate part, which is what's the journey look like? Well, go be a playoff team. Well, but who if got you have hurt? a playoff roster. But, but who got hurt? You know what I mean? Like you Fine. Wouldn't, you wouldn't Fine. do that. You wouldn't do that to the New York Jets. Let's do the New York Jets. That was a playoff team. Oh, well, it's a playoff team. And then four plays later, you're like, not a playoff team anymore. Yep. So different story with a quarterback as opposed sure. to a baseball team. For sure. But if Blake Snell and Logan Webb are both hurt a month into the season, you're not going to feel like it's a playoff team anymore. Right. Is my point. Right. So, um, you know, and that's with any sport sure. at any time. Sure. And you can sure, look sure. at any soccer team or basketball team. And, you know, if something happens to Steph Curry, as it did so many years ago, and Draymond begged out of the year because he was hurt, then the year was over. And that's just the way it goes. Injury is totally different 
from expectations. Or right, but even like to say go go be a playoff team, um, that's on a bunch of different people. You know, you've constructed the team. Now you find out, was it constructed well? It feels like it was, but that feels that way coming out of the offseason a lot. A lot. But now the players have to go perform. Will they? Who will underperform? Who will overperform? I mean, when it comes to baseball, that often ends up being the story, right? Like, you need to have some players overperform. And, and the Giants, even with this pitching staff now, are no different. They need some people to overperform. Um, sure, Solaire had 36 home runs last year, and Matt Chapman had a broken finger and all of that. But, like, you're, you're going to – that's it's not ending there. You need Yaz or Tyro or Patrick Bailey. I mean, you still have what is traditionally, traditionally the biggest bopper on the team plays what position? For most teams, and traditionally, that's your first baseman. And who do the Giants have? Well, a plucky platoon of Lamont Wade and Wilmer Flores. Right. All right, so, right, it's not like you, you're, you're just loaded offensively. You do now have a middle of the order, but you're going to need some people to overperform if this is going to be a special season. But I agree with you. Like, that's, that's the, the main takeaway. It's a playoff roster. Yeah, it's a, it's a playoff roster. It, it should be, especially in in the National League where you've got four teams at least that aren't going to be trying. So now you're talking about eleven teams for six spots, and you've got a rotation that's better than better than most, certainly in your own division. And you've got a guy in Blake Snell who has been dominant against the Dodgers, and he pitched for the Padres. He did well against Arizona. He's a guy who should against the NL West, do very well. He takes care of them, yep. You've got the top two Cy Young Award votees from last year on your team. <laughs> You're one and your two. We're one and two in the Cy Young last year. So you've got no excuse. Your defense is better. Your pitching is elite. Go out there and win games two to yep, one. Yep, yep. Well, they, I mean, in that ballpark, they always will. Uh, their bullpen, it, it, sets good, up, yeah. it sets up to be. It sets up to be. Like, I always, you know, I, I don't know. I we'll see. It looks good, you'd think on paper, but baseball players, it is, in my opinion, the second most psychological sport out there, and 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 maybe our favorite, uh, at least as far as what we do with our own personal time, golf is clearly number one because it's the you and a stick, and you're just like, all right, yeah, I got this. But baseball, and the ball's not moving, right? But baseball is really odd. And, and it, it's something that, you know what it really stuck out to me is when I was on the bus leagues as a broadcaster in my early 20s, when I was broadcasting for the Boise Hawks in the Angels organization. No, I knew it was coming. Thank you. You could look up and down the bus and you're just like, man, baseball's weird. You see the 49ers come out of the tunnel and there's Debo and Trent and, and the boom box. And you're like, okay. Most of these dudes are all kind of cut from the same cloth. They're big. They're maniacs. Right. They're crazy people. They're big personalities. And uh, and here they come out on the field together. Baseball's got 47 different types of people all on the bus. All on the bus. Because pitchers are weird. Lefties are really weird. Right. You know what I mean? Catchers are sides of beef. Uh, and then you've got like prancy, dancy people who play up the middle Right, and then you got boppers on the corner. You're from all corners of the country, all walks of life. It's 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 just totally different and very psychological. Therefore, that's why I think you get wild swings in terms of your production. You have guys that just you're like, what the hell happened? Why were you great this year and then you were awful the next? Look at Cody Bellinger. What the hell kind of a career right. is this? What his career arc is I, crazy. I'm the MVP. Now I can't hit 200 for two years. For two years, yeah. and then I go to the Cubs and I'm in the MVP race right. again. Right. But because of that, they're like, "Let's do a one year deal," because I don't know which Cody I'm getting. So I feel that way about this too with these Giants. Like I don't know. I, yeah. Like, but and these it, Giants are interesting in that very vein because Jorge Soler has been. All over the board. He's been an unbelievable slugger. He's been hurt. 
He struggled. He's coming off a good year. So which one are you going to get? Yep. jung Hoo Lee has never played Major League Baseball. <laughs> he was good in Korea, but what does that even mean for a hitter coming over here? Matt Chapman looked like he had a good start last year, and then he kind of slowed down. Kind of. The defense is good. It was horrible. Right. But he had so a broken finger. He did. So which one are you going to get? Wilmer Flores has been steady. Tyro was good before he got hurt, and he came back, and he slowed down a little bit. Baseball is really weird because you get four cracks a day, and all eyes are on you. And the pitcher may be better than you in that at-bat, and it may be the case like three or four days in a row. It's not that you're slumping. Maybe the pitcher you're facing is just better. His stuff is better. You might get squeezed on a call. You might have a negative count that you're facing, and you might be in a bad spot. Baseball is so fickle based on the nature of it. If you're a football player and you're Trent Williams, for example, and you've got 68 snaps and you've got 35 run and 33 pass, you'll probably be able to do your job 80 to 90% of the time and do it well enough to where no one's going to notice. But in baseball, you're in the batter's box, and unless you time it right, square it up, drive it, and even if you do, you might still get out. Uh -oh, completely. I mean, baseball Probably. is, or you can fist one <laughs> over the second baseman's head with a flutter job and get a base hit. You're doing the uh, the Bull Durham speech at, exactly. the, at the pool hall right now. But that's baseball. And, like, basketball, yep. you know, you're going to at least get your chance to, all right, I went three of 15, but I got my 15 shots, and I'll get them next time in two days. And in baseball, or basketball, rather, you control what's going on a lot more than in baseball. Baseball, you're standing there with a piece of wood against the guy who's throwing low to mid-90s, and you're supposed to be consistently elite? It's brutal. Optimism rating, 1 to 10, today. For the Giants? Right now. It's like a 7. A 7. Oh, yeah. Grandy and Lucas, what would you say to that? Optimism rating, 1 to 10. Optimism uh, optimism rating, today. I think Dibs is spot on. 7, 7.5. Seven? Yeah. Okay. Lucas, he's talking to somebody. Yeah. He can't even hear me. Yeah. I'm a little higher than that. I'm more toward an 8. And for me, yeah, when you talk I mean, about optimism ratings, it's are you optimistic that they're going to be playing baseball in October? I, right, but I mean, wouldn't forget you, the title, forget the division. Are you going to be playing playoff baseball in October? I think I'm in a seven. They yeah. should be. We're sponsored by Ashley Furniture Home Stores. Wonder where all of you are on that eight 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 nine five seven nine five seventy. Because I think I could probably argue that in terms of just the vibe in your belly today as a Giants fan, optimism is probably the Probably the best day of the last three years, I, I would argue.